Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cable cast on. Now, I shared this uh, cabling technique with you earlier today, but remember that stretchy edge that I told you I shouldn't have used the cast on that I used? Well, then I realized, oh, they have that thing called a cable cast on. That's probably when you use it when you're making cables. Durr, says Lindsay as the light bulb flashes over her head. So here you can see you get a really nice, firm, straight edge. Now, this cable design is a little hard to see. It's just a little basic twist. Um, this, uh, These two yarns I held together. Uh, to knit with kind of um, obliterated my lovely cable design but you know I'm going with it I think I'm gonna make a head wrap I always like to go forward I never like to rip things out but anyway I'm gonna show you how to do a cable cast on because um, it's very useful to know um, first I'll show you quickly how I typically cast on uh, start with a slip knot and um, and the reason I usually cast on like this is because for one, it's very quick and easy, and for the other, um, I often like to crochet edging or pick up stitches on the edge of my work, and this gives me a very loose, um, a very loose cast on. So what I do is I wrap the yarn between my fingers, and I just lift up a stitch, and I do this for as many times as I need stitches, counting the slip stitch as my first stitch. All right, so that's pretty easy. Look how quickly that goes. And now I have all these little stitches on there, and then, uh, but when I knit it across, you're going to see what I mean about it being stretchy. Um, on this cast on, when I knit, look at the gap that is created. Whoops, I split my skein. Let me do that again. I split my yarn. This is kind of a wooly, rovy yarn. See, when I, when I go over there, I get that little gap in there. Now, that's not a big deal, but if you are doing a cable or something where you're kind of, you know, pulling those stitches into submission, that little gap in there is going to give you an edge like this. It's a little kind of wavy gravy instead of a nice, tight, neat edge. Uh, edge like this. You'd want to use a um, cast on like this when you wanted something stretchy though, so just file that away in your head. It's easy, it's stretchy, great for beginners and children because a lot of times they're white knuckled knitters and they can't get their uh, their needles into their stitches because they're too tight. So this is more of an advanced uh, cast on. Um, I prefer it to the double tailed cast on because you don't need to estimate how much yarn you need. So again, start with a slip knot. Put it on your needle and pull it snug. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. Okay. Now what you're going to do is, um, if, you, if you've ever increased a stitch when you're knitting, it's the same idea. So you're going to put your needle in that stitch, just as if you're going to knit it. You're going to wrap and you're going to pull up a new loop. Okay? And then you're going to slip that onto your needle so you have two stitches there. Okay? Now, for every other stitch, what you're going to do is you are going to put your needle between the stitches. You're going to go under the needle, over the little knot there, and between the stitches. See that? Okay, maybe I will zoom out just a little bit. It seems like my camera is having a little trouble focusing. All right, I wonder where my camera gets it. <laughs> trouble focusing! Hmm! All right, so then we're going to wrap, and we're going to pull... Ooh! Try that again. We're going to wrap. We're going to wrap, a wrap, a do the yarn wrap. We're going to pull it through, and we're going to... Then we're going to put it back on. Okay, see that? So now we got three stitches on there. Um, then we're going to go between these two stitches again. We're going to wrap with the uh, working yarn, not the tail. Jeez Louise. We're going to pull that off, and we're going to put it back on. Now, notice that little motion there, okay? What I'm doing here, I'm wrapping. Yo, yo, I'm wrapping with my yarn. Okay, sorry. Uh, look how I'm going in the back of that stitch there to pull it over, okay? You want to do that so you get this nice little row of bumps on the bottom. All right, let's do it a couple times so you get the hang of it. I just learned how to do this today, actually. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty easy. If you need to stretch it out a little bit to get your needles through, go ahead, because you could just simply tug on the yarn to tighten it up. Okay, so um, it's really, really easy. So you're basically knitting as you cast on. Um, and whoops. Sometimes it's hard to grab this yarn, I have to say, because these stitches are pretty tight on there. Um, so it is it is a little bit harder to get your needle through there. So don't pull it too tight. If you pull it too tight, you're never going to get that needle back through so that you can make your, your new stitch. Now do this for however many stitches you need in your pattern, whatever it calls for, just cast on that many. This is much, this takes a lot longer than the uh, the first method I showed you, but it's really, it's really essential. You want to take this time when you're doing a cabled, uh, something you're going to cable, like a cabled scarf or something, just to give you a nice finished edge. All right, then to knit, you just knit simply as you would before, and you'll see the difference here when you knit this, how there isn't really that gap in between. You see that? You can actually kind of see those knit stitches being formed right there. You're going to end up with a little bit wider of a first row than you would with the other cast-on method, my lazy cast-on method that I showed you earlier. 
All right. It's pretty simple. And you just go and knit. And um, the reason, just make sure you don't cast it on too tightly or it's gonna be hard to get your needle through, all right? But it's gonna behave a lot like your regular um, rows of knitting. You know how that first row can sometimes be a doozy? This is gonna knit like your um, like your regular rows, not like the cast on row. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, well, I hope this helped you. If you were gonna embark on some cables today and didn't know how to do the cable cast on, um, and that's what our first row looks like. It looks, see how it looks a little bit wider than our typical first row if we're using the lazy cast on method, the li lazy Lindsay method. Um, but there you go, and uh, you get a really nice firm edge. And I'll do a video in a bit and show you how to do this cable twist if you're interested. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.